uh, black and white night vision. That's actually pretty sick. Yeah! What's going on around here? I just inherited $250,000. I didn't tell my husband, now I can finally leave him. Damn, like, <laughs> crazy man. She's dope as fuck. Okay, I hope that our kids are as weird as us. I hope you suck dick. When I think back on all those innocent memories, all those barefoot adventures, I really wonder why couldn't we have been as happy as just friends? If anyone breaks your heart, ah. kill them. Kill, kill them. It doesn't matter who the fuck ah. is, you know what I mean? Like, I'm dead serious. Like, you just ah. kill them. Just fuck it. Yeah. yeah! They're just gonna say that they're gonna put you in jail. They actually don't put you nothing, dude. They don't put you in jail at all. They just say they're gonna put you in jail. They don't do shit. Ah. Gonna fuck them. Just kill that ah. bitch. Man or woman. Male, man, woman. Who cares about the actual definition? Female, dumb, dog, whatever. Who gives a ah. fuck? It's a slang word now, and I can call it whatever I want. I had my first orgasm at 13 with a vibrator I found in my dad's drawer. I kept it well hidden, then one day it was just gone. I'm so embarrassed, I can't even think about it. That sucks. Ah. Uh, that was kind of disgusting. If her dad, it was in her dad's drawer. Hold on, dad's drawer? Hmm, it's kind of nasty. Probably sucking his ass. The atheist. I am more afraid of coming out to my Christian parents and family as an atheist than if I were gay. Well, if I was gay, if my family ever tried to talk to me ever again, I'm going to tell them I'm gay, and they'll probably leave me alone. If I tell them I'm gay, they'll believe me, trust me. I told my mom I was gay, joking with her, and I told her I was just joking, and she still thinks I'm gay. I couldn't admit I had an anxiety disorder until so they showed it on Glee. Thank you, Emma Phils. I don't understand that I don't watch Glee. I married a gamer. Best sex of my life. I like games, but not that much. I still freak out when I see duct tape because... He wrapped it, he wrapped her in it, and I had to cut it off. Damn, that's some fucked up shit, dude. White people. It was gonna write weird shit like that. My family doesn't know I met my fiance working as a stripper. I'm actually thinking about doing that for getting through college. Yes, it sounds a great idea. I enjoy lying to strangers. I'm still going to marry you, but I can't love you after you stripped for him. That might be a woman, that might be a man. That's, you know, sexual. Mm. I slipped my smaller twin extra milk while she was still in hospital. Today, my allegedly dead homeless prostitute mom called to ask for investment advice. Um, I'm slightly freaked out about this picture. Not that, that saying that was pointless to read, but this one's kind of scary. I'm afraid nobody will understand the art I make. Uh, well, it's a kind of fucked up picture. Uh, sure guys, yeah! It's kind of disgusting, but it's actually pretty cool. Heroin. I've always wanted to try that. I might, I'm actually thinking about trying. I might have a heart attack. Hold on, that might hurt though. That might feel. It was easier being fat. Yeah, because all you had to do is eat. I'm gonna read this quote. And it comes straight from the internet. Not my heart. Fuck that. Technically, it doesn't come from my heart. It comes from my mind, which is my brain. Chunk and depressed. Yes. My specialty. I used to masturbate at least once a day. After the threesome two weeks ago, I've done it twice. Well, guess what? I've masturbated, um, I'm not going to share that number. It's probably because I can't count. I confess that I ate Cheez-Its and ice cream for dinner last night because it's not worth it just to cook for myself. I would never marry, though. <laughs> Fuck marriage. Fuck bitches. Male or female, again, unisexual. Doesn't have to be a girl. Can also be a man. I wish I was the other twin. Well, guess what? I wish I was a dick so I could feel good all the time. I used to pee in, into snowballs before throwing them at my friends. Well, when, people, when my friends aren't looking, I have this little bottle of semen that, um that I jacked from the hospital, and I tend to pour it into um, their drinks. Yeah, it's pretty nasty, it's because I'm a dick. <laughs> this is actually a pretty good picture. I just want to tell someone how angry I am. You know what, I totally agree with you. If it wasn't for the law that would take me to jail, or prison, or whatever, I'd kill your ass. Basically the same thing. I create this. I create distance when I find out my girlfriends are pranks because I'm jealous and feel worthless. Well, bitch, go get fucked. That's all I gotta say. I'm letting go of all the things that cause me to be unhappy right now. And from this moment on, I will be happy. <laughs> I'm not even gonna get into this. <laughs> so anyways, no stressful job or rush hour traffic, no medical bills or family responsibilities. I want to break into prison. <laughs> yeah. Except I don't wanna break into prison, I just wanna fuck everyone up, you know, just like fucking kill them. Stab them, bury them in my front apartment building. Damn, I'm a fucking serial killer possible. I tell people I'm an atheist, but I believe I'm going, I'm going to hell. I'm going to go to hell because I laugh in hell. That doesn't make any sense. I change my hair so often to make up for the fact that I won't be able to change who I am. You know, that sounds like a familiar friend that I have. He's 19 years old, possibly he's Vietnamese and male, has a pretty big head, 
talks like a dumbass, um, pretty gay. He could he could be bisexual. I can see it. Sounds like him. I don't know. Don't can't tell you the name. That was pretty confidential. When I was a young teenager, I used to babysit my next door neighbor's son. When he was asleep, I would go into their bedroom and go through their bedside drawers. I found a packet of condoms. I put a pin through the middle of each of them and thus ensured myself another five years of babysitting. That is fucking weird. Who the fuck thinks of that shit? Damn, that bitch should have a tumbler. She'd think of cool shit. I had gay sex of, at church camp three times. I had gay sex at church camp three times. It's pretty cool. Kind of sounds like something I want to do. I'm happy and lucky, but I've never told anyone. I know I'm known as a funny one, but I don't crack jokes to make people smile. It's because I fear feeling their sadness. You're a pretty heartwarming faggot. I still haven't told my father that I have had the same disease that killed my mother. That fucking sucks.